Hello there, welcome back to Ayastack. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create your own open AI API key and use it. This is going to be really quick and easy video tutorial that you can follow along. So here you can see I have logged into the open AI platform. So you if you don't have any account, then first of all, you will have to create an account on open AI platform. Once you have the account, then uh, you are logged in you will see this kind of interface. So let me tell you that even if you create an account, even if you create an API key, that will not work because uh, you must have to uh, purchase some credits to start using the API. Maybe uh, you may get some uh, trial credits if uh, that's so then uh, you can uh, use it. Otherwise, if you don't have any uh, free credits, then uh, you must have to uh, add the billing details and you will have to purchase some uh, prepaid credits once you have some credits then you are able to start using the api keys so let me show you here in the left side panel if you hover on that this will uh, this would appear and if you click on the settings then you will see the billing area if you click on that you will see this section where you can see right now i have uh, almost 8.56 credit balance that i can use and i also have configured that auto recharge is on whenever my credit balance reaches five dollar my payment method will be charged to bring the balance up to twelve dollar so this would uh, automatically charge my credit card so if you see this you can click on the add to credit balance and then you can uh, add extra amount or credits and here you can see we have the payment method section here you can add multiple payment methods like well, debit cards or credit cards and set uh, any of those as the default ones okay once you have added your credit card or debit card or payment method then you have just some so once you have the credits then in order to create the api key here you will see the ap keys sections api keys section and here you can see i have created a lot of api keys so far so if you did not create any api key earlier then you will uh, not see you will see the empty list here and you here you will see the create new secret button if you click on that then this section would appear here you will have to say uh, specify the name of the api key you can give it any name uh, and then we have the section permissions where you can specify the permissions like restricted or read only so if you just want to read data with the help of your api key then you will select the read only and if you select the restricted uh, then you will have more you will have more fine-grained control where you can specify that which, uh, resource or which model capabilities uh, you want to use like if you uh, select read then you will be able to read all of the available models in your account and here if if you want to be able to uh, have a right capabilities a right permission then if you click on that then you have the right permissions on the model and so on so this is all so if you just click on the all or now we will just select all and give it a name very test and click on the create secret key so this would immediately create the key for you once it is created uh, you can just click on the copy button that would be copied on your clipboard now it's time to test it so before testing that let me save it somewhere so that i can use. so here i just opened the api reference documentation from the open ai api and here they have several ways to test it or use it so either you can use it along with the python or you can use it with the node.js or you can also use the curl command to test it okay so let's get the list of models uh, by using our api key so i'm going to copy this and let me paste paste that here so that i could swap the api key okay now copy it and open a new terminal and paste that if you press enter if your api key is valid then it will use it and give it you give you the list of all of the models so let's see if that works all right here you can see that it has given me a list of all of the models gpt4 turbo preview gpt4 this and that so these it will show you a list of all of the models that are available for you to use so after that let's uh, try out some few other examples so let's say if you want to try out the chat completion completion so just copy it the copy button and go back to the vs code paste it let's 
replace the api key and i'm going to copy it and now let's try it again here i have pasted the command press enter and you can see that in the uh, messages array i have specified the role user and the content is say this is a test so let's see what it says so it gave me this uh, payload as a response that is an object and within that payload uh, it is telling us that it has used the model gpt 3.5 turbo and uh, we have the choices in the choices array we have uh, an object and that object is the response from the model that is giving us the text that we asked it to give back to us okay now let's uh, try it again with a different message so here instead of that uh, let's type something else best ai model give me a list of best ai models to learn okay press enter all right this is the response we got here it is saying that a uh, first one uh, it is saying that gpt3 and then there is a bird and then it is talking about the vgg16 and so on so this is just uh, this is just a, a quick example just to demonstrate how you will use this api key in uh, any way so there are thousands of ways that utilize uh, creative things to build some digital products or whatever you prefer uh, let me show you one last example or usage way that you can use it with the postman as well so let's copy this and let's copy this url and open the postman and paste it here and it is saying that and we have to use the post method to send this payload so let me actually copy the payload as it is and go back here use the post method open the body and here select the raw and select the json okay and now here i will paste my payload enlarge it okay now if i hit the send button without using the api key obviously it will say that you did not provide the api key okay now we have to uh, add the api key in the header so let's go to the headers area or uh, maybe go to the authorization and from here you can select the bearer token and here we have to type b e a r e r and let's get the api key that we want to use okay so now i will paste it here and now let's hit the send button okay i got an error that this is incorrect maybe i made some mistake while pasting it by the way we don't have to use the bearer because i am using the authorization tab if you are adding the header manually then you may you must have to add the bearer so i don't need to specify because it will add it automatically because if you go to the header scroll up and you will see that bearer uh, word has been added automatically now hit the send button and this time it has to work okay you can see that this is a response and now it is more readable change the body uh, give me a list of top programming languages hit the submit button okay you can see it has given us the multiple top programming languages but they are separated by the line break so if you whenever you will use it in your uh, application you will sparse it and add the proper line breaks to make it visually look good so i hope that this uh, video provided some value to you if you think so then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon also please like and share this video and if you have any suggestions feedback or questions then please leave them in the comment section i will do my best to reply them as well thanks for watching see you next time